one owner car guy and I'm going to be doing a detail of this car but in the meanwhile I'm trying some of my new product on it and you'll see this trunk is prime for product if that makes any sense it is definitely been sitting in the dust and not only that it's been sitting outside for years it's not just dust it's faded and you'll see when we get through the wash and stuff it's faded I don't know how I'm going to use this video but it's taken now how's that check out my website cansoup.com and um, I'm going to make a video now well just a little more detail in video here you can just see how faded it is I'm going to tear into this sucker now I've already got the side done you can see how shiny that is in comparison this is going to take a layer of paint off you know way, two ways about that I'm telling you, be very careful on these edges. I'll give you a quick comparison here just for kicks and giggles actually I've got too much wax on my rag and it just keeps re-streaking it. But you can see it's definitely a whole shinier deal. And on this type of a deal, you will use quite a bit of product because again, the paint's dry. And I'd rather use extra product than burn the paint. I like to hit up the edges first. And then kind of fill in the blanks. So to speak. Now that my pad is fully damp, I guess you'd say, I've got plenty of product on here for sure. And you can see these streaks in here that just don't rub out. They will with this. That's all there is to say about it. And you can tape off all your chrome and make cleanup a lot easier. Why don't I? I don't know. I, it's 
try and get the wax and such off as soon as I can. Thus saving most of the problem. You know, the problem with glass is if I'm looking crooked, it's going to be crooked like that. Since when you're the one that busts it, you know where every flaw is. Or most of them. Like this. A little touch up. I said this in a previous video. Do the chrome and everything. Be careful when it gets to jumping like that. But you see how them lights are dim. It'll definitely brighten them up a bit. Oh yeah, you can tell. See there? Look at this one. Look at that one. In fact, what? You can tell right there. Look at that. Oh, you can especially tell on the orange. Now watch out if they're cracked you literally blow them apart. These pieces down here are going to be a pain. But that's the next thing on the uh, agenda. Well, on and on and on. Watch out for areas that have multiple angles, if that makes any sense. Like all this. I like to keep it wet. That's what she said.
And this has a bit of a, um, wax type of a polish in it. So you wouldn't get it hazing like this if it didn't. I'm trying to go with a one-stage process here. Five hundred. Holy smokes. Huh, I need a stool. Well, trying to get some detailing done, that's for sure. And this is enjoyable, that's for sure. And I'm going to tell you ahead of hand, ahead of hand, this is the softest line we've hit so far. It would be amazing if we don't rub half of it off. You can see it right there. What you're working with, though. Does that make sense to you? This is some of the hardest pieces to get on a car like this. I want that thing to start jumping, that's what's good.
you got water spots on the windows, sometimes this is a perfect way to take care of that while you're at it. You can see the difference there. Okay, well, 15 minute video here all of a sudden. And it's getting too dark to where you ain't gonna be able to see the outcome. Well, I think I'll clip this off and clip some more on in a second.